next, a big arrest in Texas. The investigation into the murders of prosecutors and the wife of the district attorney. It looks like they're headed toward resolving the case. Dobbs Law. Attorneys John Spilbor, Heather Hansen, join us. Stay with us. Joining us now, criminal defense attorney Heather Hansen and Fox News legal analyst, criminal defense attorney John Spilbor. And I, I want to get to two ca cases here very quickly. First, the arrest in Texas uh, of the wife of the ex-justice of the peace there, charged with three murders, the DA, the assistant DA, and the wife of the district attorney. Mm -hmm. Odd thing about that is police went in uh, basically on her confession that she was the one who offed these people, sort of, I guess, in retribution for her husband getting uh, convicted of stealing. This is very convoluted. He got convicted of stealing and then lost his job. Stealing got three disbarred. computers. Right. So, you know, pales in comparison to, to shooting three innocent people. But now, rumor has it that she's also going to put the gun in her husband's hand. Right now, he has not been charged with murders. Only she has. He's in jail for um, making terroristic threats. And he's in jail for right. $3 million bond. But she's now said that he's the one that pulled the trigger. And they found that big warehouse full of um, arms and the car. I mean, it, he's, it's really been, tr we've talked about, the investigation has been amazing now, to get we, these people. We don't have an opportunity to do this enough. Mm -hmm. But the investigators, the law enforcement agencies, uh, the, the prosecutors have been brilliant in the state of Texas and the way in which they've handled this there in Kaufman County. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the fact that the public didn't know what was happening until it happened, you know, and right. that's helpful, I think. Right. Turning to uh, the Philly abortion uh, doctor's trial, uh, this is one of the most disgusting uh, mm -hmm. cases that uh, to come to the public attention. Uh, today, an eight-year employee of the Kermit Gosnell uh, Clinic testified abortion pa patients were routinely over-medicated, uh, didn't keep records. I, I, I mean, I don't see how there aren't, frankly, more complaints against this man. Well, and there, and there should have been. I mean, I, you know, I live in Philadelphia. I represent doctors in Philadelphia. And the repercussions of what he has done have flowed downward. Um, it, it is unbelievable. And it, it's, it's very prevalent in the news in Philadelphia. The, the, it's covered every day. The fact that... To be clear, the charges are uh, that this doctor uh, killed... Uh, seven babies, babies. Seven babies. But first more, and, and a grown woman. Right. First degree on seven babies right. and third degree on the on the grown woman who right. died after an abortion. By snipping their spinal cords after they were born alive. This case made me want to vomit. Well, and and, that's, it's, that's and this a, guy, yeah, he, it's, there's no way he's not going to be found not guilty in this I, case. You know, he I, he really believes that he's not. I've been in the courtroom and the he takes notes, he smiles, he considers himself at the beginning of the case, he, he, he considers himself a medical missionary. And he thinks yeah. that he has done this to save this population of um, women who need his help. Lou, you've heard of jury nullification where people find a way to acquit somebody even when the evidence right. is against it. This is going to be the opposite of jury nullification. Even if the scientific evidence is in his favor, these oh, jurors are going to want to it's, convict it's him because this is the most disgusting and heinous case I have ever, and I can't believe we're not covering it even more. Seven babies and more than that, I think 47 babies altogether, well, snipping their spinal cords, born alive. It's disgusting. It, it is It is disgusting. And I don't know how the jurors aren't going to have nightmares. I mean, yeah. selecting a jury in this case, it's a death penalty case and you've got abortion. There, all the issues there to get a jury even in the box was a big deal. And to have them, it, another month of this, it's horrible. Medical missionary, my butt. Well, it's it's a horrible, horrible case, and it, it is uh, critically important. It, it seems to be that the city of Philadelphia is at war with itself in this case. It looks as though there is a clash here, a cultural component to this, a political component uh, that may play out across the whole nation. Uh, and that may be the reason there's been such an aversion to this case uh, covering it in the national media. Yeah, it's and been covered in Philadelphia. That. It's been covered in Philadelphia extremely well. And I think there's a lot of people up in arms about it in Philadelphia. It, it, we talk about it every day. We can't let it happen anywhere else, Lou. You were, you're smart to say that. We can't let it happen anywhere else. John, thank you very much. We appreciate you being with us. Heather, thank you very much. Uh,